Walden in the car. Car, the car, the Walden. What's up, Sabbath Space? Welcome to episode 11. Walden in the car. I am Walden, and I'm in the car with my new horizontal phone holder mount. It doesn't, it's one of those phone holders that's like, it'll just slowly move over the course of the video. So now it's just like chopping off the top of my head. Oh well, fuck it. Uh, an issue last night with my car. I, it's surprising, I know, yeah. I was driving my car and it was uh, raining a lot. It's been raining here quite a bit the last few days. And where I live is a bit like in the middle of nowhere and it tends to flood quite easily. Now, last time we had the flooding was a couple of weeks ago. Roads got flooded, puddles big, all that type of stuff. And I love driving through all that shit, right? It's fun. But last night, it flooded again. But all the drainage hadn't had time to clear since the first time. So even though the rain wasn't as heavy, the flooding was worse. I'm gonna try and fix my camera mount a little bit here. Hang on a second. Oh, sorry for my big fat fucking face in the fucking middle of the fucking thing. Let me tighten that up a bit, see if that does anything. Now, normally with puddles and stuff like that driving, I'm up for a challenge, so I'm like, you know what, I'm driving through it, fuck it. I don't think I really did anything, anyway. So, I'm driving through all the puddles and stuff like that, as normal. Car. Has like a, a, a splash tray underneath. Like, there's like a little, um, I don't know what you call it. It's like a shield underneath the bottom of the car which protects like splashes, rainwater, and all that type of stuff, okay? Sorry, this is really fucking hard to be up now. Just do what I ask you to. So, driving away, that rips off. Great, fuck's sake. I've got my kid in the back, by myself, it's raining. I look underneath at this thing, it's come off except for one screw. Luckily, I've got tools in the back of the car, so I'm like, okay, I'll take this screw out, just rip the fucking whole thing off, throw it in the boot, and then I'll drive home and I'll fix it tomorrow. Now I didn't have anything to lie on, so I'm literally lying on the floor. So I'm wet, muddy, cold, and I'm underneath my car at the sides of a road with other fucking cars whizzing past me, trying to get this fucking screw out. Would the screw come out? Would it fuck? So I give up in the end and I just drove home with the thing scraping on the floor. And I'll Fuck it. Got home, got everything sorted, managed to cable tie it back on. So temporary fix. But it was going dark, so I thought if I don't do this now, I'm not using my car at all until I can spend like an hour and a half or whatever underneath the car on the ramps to fix it properly. So got that done. Last night, I go to pick my wife up from work. So we're all back in the car with my temporary fix in place. The roads are flooded, as I say. To the point where even I had to turn around. Now I will, I don't care, I don't care, I'm a bit of an idiot, I'm like, fuck it. But we're talking some water parts where probably two feet deep. Which means water, that was a funeral over there, sorry. Water gets into the exhaust. Once it's in the exhaust, it chokes the engine out, you cut out and you're done for. Now if you're submerged in water, or rather your exhaust is submerged in water, your engine isn't starting and you're stuck there until the water level, water level eventually drains away, which as of this morning still hasn't happened. So my car would have been just abandoned there until the water went and then we'd have to fix the car. So what normally takes me a 20 minute drive took me like 45 minutes because we had to keep diverting. absolute nightmare but you know we got through it it was an adventure and i do like an adventure but i seem to be seeing this a little bit more as we're getting flooding like britain's known for rain but we're getting a lot of flooding now the thing that winds me up the most is then the fucking climate changes come out 
Oh, it's all because of climate change. Oh, it's all because of climate change. Get over it. The ice caps are melting. If the ice caps melt, the earth will die. I don't think that's true, considering there's been a lot of, or a big chunk of our history when we had no ice caps. And you know what I'm just sick of? And it's starting to die off a little bit, but I wish it would die off more, is conspiracy theorists. Climate change. I lump that in with it. Because if we as a species live on a planet, the only way we survive is to consume our planet's resources. Just like anything else, just like a bug on a piece of fruit. If you don't, you die. Now, is there better ways we can consume the resources and stuff? Probably, yeah, more efficient. Does it really make much of an effect on the planet? Probably not, in the grand scheme of things. And we're all here with bottle tops that are now stuck to our Coca-Cola bottles to recycle them together. And like China have just opened like 80 new coal fueled power stations. And I'm just like, it's just fucking, what's the fucking point? Like, what is the fucking point? Electric cars suck. They're for little people who prefer a certain lifestyle. Ones with a big moustache, if you know what I mean. Yeah, they suck. And they're, they're just as bad for the environment, but they're, they're trendy. So people think that they're good. But anyway, I'm going off topic a little bit here. So yeah, all of this flooding makes for a lot of treacherous conditions. Now, the other side of the flooding was on my trip out before the car fell apart I thought I'll avoid the flooded roads and I'll go on the motorway the freeway as you guys would call it in America but people for some reason want to drive like absolute fucking cunts when it's raining so I'm trying to join the motorway and there's this big fucking lorry who are some of the worst drivers on the road won't let me on the motorway I try and speed up to go ahead of me, he won't let me do that. I slow down, he won't let me do that. So he literally wants me to just run out of fucking road as I'm trying to join on the slip road, the on-ramp, as you Americans would call it. I'm like, so what, what options do you want me to have here, mate? Let me just completely run out of road so you can be like, ah, oh, how dare you try and use the motorway? Fucking cretin. Then they're speeding up and tailgating cars in front and it, the spray is literally blinding. And they're swerving, and there's other people who are swerving in and out of lanes and tailgating the shit. Someone was tailgating the shit out of me as I was leaving the motorway. And I'm like, mate, I'm doing 50 miles an hour now as I'm trying to slow down. And you're up my fucking arse as if to say, go faster. Like, I'm going to run out of road in a second because the junction fucking finishes. So like a cunt, I slow all the way down to about 20 miles an hour to prove a point. But that's, that's beside the point. Why have you got to drive like a twat when the weather's bad? Like, I get, yeah, don't hang around. Don't be like, oh, there's a puddle. I've got to abandon my car and live in my house for a week. And then there's people who are like, yeah, fuck it. Let's go fucking water sports. Woo! Not that type of water sports, Bajan. The water sports where you go jet skiing across the top of it. There's no, <coughs> no judgment for people. They don't know how to properly judge conditions. They don't know how to go slow enough to be safe, but fast enough to not be dilly-dallying around like a pussy. A pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Uh, right now, I'm just driving through the middle of Aintree Racecourse. For those who know about the Grand National, the horse race, the most famous horse race on the planet, I would say. Outside of the Kentucky Derby, maybe, but I'd say this is a bigger race. This is Aintree Racecourse I'm driving through at the minute. It's the Mellon Road. I love horse racing. If I say love horse racing, I love like the big events, like the Grand National and stuff. I like to go to, um, I like to watch that and put a few bets on and things like that for good fun. Bit of gambling, harmless, small gambling. It's not till next April that though, but I do like it. They run across this road. They close it off for some of the big races. <coughs> the Grand National course there. <coughs> ah, so there we go. So that's my uh, that's my rant for the day. Another episode of Walden in the car. In the bag. 
Thank you for joining me for my little 10 minute uh, blurbs on the internet. And remember, you are on YouTube right now watching this, I'm going to assume, which means please hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is completely free. It helps us out a lot. We're trying to grow our channels, uh, gain more followers and stuff. So if you want to share some of our stuff about, please feel free to do that as well. On this YouTube channel, not only do I post Walden in the car, but you'll also see all of our podcast episodes posted here as well as on all of the podcast platforms as well. Just uh, have a look at the comedy pickaxe. Everything's in playlists for you guys as well, so it's nice and easy to navigate. Uh, you can also find our gaming videos. We have lots of those. The most recent game we've been playing is our Ark Survival Evolved. Me and Bajan have been playing that. Currently three or four episodes deep. Finding our feet. It's a fun game. I enjoy it. It's very... Uh, tricky to control because it's on PlayStation. I'd rather do mouse and keyboard, but we're finding our way. We're learning, we're crafting, we're surviving. We've tamed a few dinosaurs. We're having fun. And also, my favourite thing that we do, still to this day, is our Minecraft Let's Plays. And I'm going to give an extra plug here as well, because not only do we do our Let's Play Minecraft with the comedy pickaxe, me and Bajan are currently in one of the trial chambers looting the shit out of it. So go look out for those videos as they are posted over the next couple of weeks. Every Friday they go on YouTube. Um, but also my side plug, go find our old podcast, Another Damn Talk Show on YouTube. There is a playlist over there where Another Damn Talk Show played Minecraft, which is me, Bajan, uh, Smegface and Chris Starr even played. And still to this day, probably some of the f my favourite content that we've ever done. There's 101 episodes, I think, of that series on that YouTube channel. Uh, and that's great fun as well. So go over there and give that a watch as well. And join us on Twitch every Sunday where we are live for the podcast. The Comedy Pickaxe, episode 136 this week, 7pm British time. Google whatever that is for you. We normally start a little bit late, so if you haven't gone live by like half seven, yeah, don't panic. We're there. We're just always late because that's the way we roll. We filmed Minecraft just before the show, you see. So um, we normally get lost in a cave and then we're like, shit, we need to get out before we end to do the show. Uh, that's everything from me. We'll see you all on Sunday. But whenever you're watching this, we'll still be on the next Sunday. And I'm trying to think of a joke to sign off with. I don't have one. I'll save them for Sunday. Adios, motherfuckers. Walden in the car. 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 Walden.